Here's the most exciting thing about being a Christian, and uh, even if you're not a Christian, your Heavenly Father, whether you believe in Him or not, has a vision for your life. He has a preferred future as it relates to your uh, marriage and finances and raising your children and where it is that you're going to be 10 years from now in your, um, in your uh, work or your career pursuits. God has a vision for your life, and probably the best thing about our Heavenly Father is because like a perfect father, he doesn't just look at you in the way that you are, the way that, you know, if you're a, you're a slob and you're kind of, you're in the dead and you don't have a job. He doesn't look at you just at how you are. He doesn't see just you. He sees the potential you. He sees you how you could and should be and has committed himself, if you will cooperate with him, uh, to take you uh, to that preferred future. Whatever he's begun in you, he will work it out to completion, ultimately bringing you to a place of glorification. And if you're a Christian, that should just excite you. The other thing that's exciting if you're a believer is that when you became a believer, you gave up your right to make your life fundamentally about anything other than uh, Jesus' great commission that he gave us before he left earth, which is to make disciples. That's not to say your marriage isn't important. Not to say your workplace isn't important. I think... Christians should own businesses, be the best business owners, be the best everything there is. But your fundamental purpose, at the end of the day, the thing that trumps everything else is this mission to make disciples. And so I use my marriage, I have a great marriage, so that my marriage can display to the world the, uh, the gospel so that we make disciples. Same with my kids, same with my career, same with my finances. I'm going to leverage my finances. My financial well-being is going to display to the world my love uh, for Jesus. And so that